Sometimes writer's block catches us out, and some of us just don't have years of music theory knowledge. So why not use AI technology to write a new melody, or perhaps some chords? Automatic composing plugins step in to help by generating MIDI for us, and with newer technology they're getting really really creative. Insta Composer by WA Production is a new composition tool. This MIDI generation plugin can conjure melody, rhythm, bass, pads and chords with a quick button click. Using a complex algorithm and AI technology to determine notes and harmonies based on your personal preferences. It's highly customizable, so let's try and use it to fix that creative block. The first thing I would like to mention is very important. Insta Composer by WA Production writes up to 5 MIDI tracks. This means it works best with doors that support multi channel MIDI routing. Please check the list on screen. Because of the way Ableton Live works, you will need to use an extra plugin like Blue Cat's Patchwork to route the MIDI tracks properly. If you don't, then as you can see here, once you have generated the MIDI, you then need to drag it to your instruments. You can drag it one at a time. Or you can drag all of them, like this. And remember, all of these midis were written by the AI in Insta Composer. Now let's move on to have a look how to set up Insta Composer and Blue Cat's patchwork in Ableton Live. On a MIDI track, place Blue Cat Patchwork Synth VST. And then in this first pre section, we can load up the VST we want to use. In this case, Insta Composer. Now we can treat these rows in the parallel section like they are the channels in Insta Composer. But uh, as you can see, there's actually five tracks here and only four rows. So the first thing we'll do is add another row, and we can do that like this. And there we go, that's better. Now on each of these, an instrument can be loaded. But they won't just work until you set up the actual patching. And this can be very easily done within patchwork. So first let's load up an instrument here. Now to get this to work, we need to click where it says 1-1 one, one, and then go down to host and set the input MIDI to none. Now we're going to bring up that menu again and we're going to go down to port A and this is where we're going to start receiving our signal from. We don't want it from all channels, we want to be able to control each track separately in Insta Composer. So let's set this one to channel 1. Now like I said, there isn't anything being sent to port A yet, so we need to set that up in Insta Composer. And then we just need to sort out the route in here as well. We can go to the routing options and as we can see the MIDI out is currently set to none. So change that to port A. Now Insta Composer's MIDI is being sent to port A and this is being then received by Massive. Let's just quickly see if that works. Okay, so that's the first track set up. And I'll show you again here with channel 2. And just to keep it simple, I'm going to load another instance of Massive. 
and just repeat the same routing process. Now remember on host to set the MIDI input back to none. And on the MIDI input we'll go for port A again because this is one we're sending the signal to. And we're already using channel 1 so this time let's use channel 2. Now when we go back to Insta Composer, uh, we should be able to add a second track, generate some MIDI for it. Now once we've generated some MIDI here, uh, we just need to remember to go back and activate this second track so we can hear it. You can see only the top one is currently activated. Now we can hear both tracks playing. And then when we go back on Patchwork, we can choose to edit these instruments separately by clicking here. And we can change and edit the sounds as we want. Okay, so now I'll quickly set up the rest of the channels. For this example I'm just using Massive, but of course you can use whatever instruments and plugins you want here. And uh, in the columns to the right, which you can expand on just the same as we did the rows, you can add more um, VSTs and effects. Now we've got this set up, we can use Insta Composer to its full potential. Now here's a little bit more about Insta Composer by WA Production. Uh, looking like a mini door, you won't have any trouble getting to grips with this plugin. And uh, the basic options here let us do a few different things. Here we can set up what key we want to work in. And there's a few other settings here we might want to use like the random velocity and uh, there's some controls here for the beats per bar and other things like that. And once we're happy with all that, we can then uh, choose to generate the MIDI for each track separately. Or if we want, we could choose to uh, generate the MIDI for all tracks at once. If we decide we don't like the current chord progression, we can easily just click here and change that. This is a great way of getting some fresh ideas and uh, changing the vibe of what we're currently working on. Now if we want we can drag these midis into our door separately or as I showed you earlier you can do this all in one go. On each track we can do a few more things like save the midis. There's mute and solo options on each track, octave shift and uh, velocity and a few more things. We can use mode to change the style of the midi choosing from melody, riff, ostinato, rhythm, bass, pad or chord. We can also change the channel that the MIDI is outputted to, but obviously be careful about your routing, especially if you're using something like Patchwork. We can also double click on the MIDI and get up a familiar looking piano roll where we can edit it manually. And there's a view toggle at the top here so we can switch between the two. Now Insta Composer's true power comes in its AI options at the bottom here. This allows much more advanced control over the types of MIDI that the AI is going to generate. A simple example is the chords and population settings here. If we keep the chords basic and keep the population down low, then uh, the MIDI generated is going to be a lot simpler. And as we turn these up, we should get more of a complex one. And that's just a simple demonstration of uh, how you can use these controls to change the way the MIDI is generated. And as you can see, there's lots you can tinker with. And I really like some of the settings they've added, like this uh, strum control here, which helps you make your guitar MIDIs sound a lot more realistic. Insta Composer is packed full of features and has a ton of presets included. 
You'll never struggle to find inspiration again with this plugin. This is a great tool for music makers that struggle with composition or are overwhelmed by music theory or just for the rest of us to have a good, good old decent play around. If you enjoy this video then please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check out the description below for links to Insta Composer by WA Production and I'll chuck in a quick link for Blue Cat's patchwork as well. Thanks for watching. I keep on listening to your love.